Greetings everyone. For all the sporadic weather patterns and calamities we are experiencing in the recent past, it perplexes me that we haven't been able to move the needle much on the green transition. With due considerations to the development needs and just transition of the global south, we still continue to see increased fossils activity in the global north too. The research reported in the Guardian article from April 2024 comes from Carbon Majors database. It highlights how between 2016 and 2022, 57 oil, gas and cement producers accounted for 80% of the global GHG emissions. Breaking this down further, the research observes that ExxonMobil, Shell, BP, Chevron, Total Energies were leading the pack with each of them scaling up their production volumes between 2016 and 2022. While this is the story of the privately owned producers, there's also an observation around state-owned producers. The researchers found that 65% of the state entities and 55% of the private sector companies had scaled up production. It also observed the surging growth of emissions related to state and state-owned producers, particularly in the Asian coal sector. If one juxtaposes this on the just transition needs and demands of the Global South, I believe this trend line is on expected lines. It must be noted that most of the private sector companies in these sectors come from Global North, while the state-owned firms come from the Global South, predominantly Middle East, China and India. The investor-owned private sector may have a lesser coal footprint but have an increased oil and gas footprint. It is appalling that eight years after the Paris Agreement, we haven't managed to see a decline in the emission footprint from the major companies. It is also a worrying sign given that countries have not backed up their climate goal commitments with relevant transition plans and actions. In fact, it looks like the oil and gas company seems to have had a free run. I'll have to leave this piece on that note. See you with another bite soon.